know, given all that you've said, you know, what are, are maybe one, two, or even three things that or uh, pieces of advice that you would give to a digital entrepreneur, you know, starting out at this point in time, or, you know, basically pivoting from traditional work uh, to be a digital entrepreneur? Yeah, okay. So, the, I, I don't know that the advice is going to be any different than in prior times, which is um, you essentially have to become a pro you have to develop a problem solving machine to meet the needs of a current and future customer, right? That's sort of the basics. Now, in terms of what those specific market opportunities are, um, I, I, I believe that in the past, if you look at history as any guide, is some of the most amazing companies have come out of these times of trial. And because they've had two different strategies. One is that they have looked at the impact of the time, excuse me, and realized that there were certain changes in customer behavior that were pretty, were going to be more likely because the old models were no longer working. So there's a range of different businesses that have been highly dependent upon two or more people getting together. And in community after community, country after country, for at least a good period of time, that is no longer going to be possible. But there is a range of different business models that might be possible for businesses that can live on digital dimes. So that's the first thing I would look at is what industries are most highly impacted right now? And what are the ways you can come up with ways to meet the needs of customers because the customer needs and some of the most basic needs don't change, but how will you actually meet them in a way that can make be extraordinarily efficient, ten, as we say with Singularity University, 10x? How can you get by on ten, a tenth of the revenue? How can you be 10 times better? You know, so that's the first thing to be thinking of. And the second is there are always opportunities within these resets to look at the existing players and the way that they interact and to realize that that must change and I can enable it because the existing players often have so much friction. They're so calcified. They have those command and control top-down organizations. They can't jump in place and solve them. So you're going to see far more dynamic supply chains. You're going to see completely reset education systems. You're going to, there's, there's all these places where the incumbents are not going to be able to be as nimble. And so if you look at those and you look at the seams between them, how you can enable digital payments, how you can enable content to be more effectively matched up to a customer, uh, it, what all the different ways you can actually do all those things as, a, as cost effectively as possible, maybe even as a provider to the existing providers, because they can't possibly develop the new platforms to do it fast enough. In every one of these resets in the past, that's, those have been where the greatest opportunities are. Thanks, Gary. Thanks.